All right, I'm recording. Okay. Okay, guys, this is uh, Josh. What's your last name, Josh? Rushing. Rushing, and he's a reporter for Al, an independent reporter? No, I work for Al Jazeera English. We're, okay, so when a lot of people hear Al Jazeera right now, uh, they think propaganda machine, they, they, they really get nervous about what they're doing. So why don't you tell us the difference between Al Jazeera English and Al Jazeera America? Um, so Al Jazeera, say, 96, was started as a single Arabic channel 24-7 across the region. Um, in 2006, it launched Al Jazeera English, its, its second news channel. Mm -hmm. Now it's over 30 channels. There are Al Jazeera sports channels, documentary channels, Al Jazeera Turkish and Balkans, uh, Al Jazeera coming in a number of different languages. And now, just recently in the U.S., they've launched Al Jazeera America. Uh, it's independent from Al Jazeera English, although I, I believe there's only one program that's shared between the two channels. It's Fault Lines. That's the, the, the program I'm on. What's so, the program called? Fault Lines? Fault Lines. Like Fault Line and uh, Earthquake. Okay. We've been around for since 2008. And where can people watch Fault Line? Um, oddly enough, so if you're in the, it, it's all online uh, okay. in HD. We won the Peabody last year for a piece we did in Haiti. Um, but right now, because of some contractual questions with the new American distributors like Cox and Time Warner, right. um, they are geo blocking um, Fault Lines video in the US only. So if you're watching this outside the US, you can watch it uh, on YouTube. HD for free, and until the lawyers figure out what should be geoblocked and what shouldn't, the distributors in America, they don't want you to show the same thing on internet as you show on TV. So that's the issue that they're going through right now. What's geoblocking? Uh, geoblocking means if you go to YouTube and you look at it, it'll in the US, it'll say because of the region you're in, you can't watch this video. And who, does, who gets to choose whether or not that... Who, uh... Comcast, Time Warner, The Dish, Direct, uh, is part of the distribution deal. So to go to... To go to watch Fault Line, we'd have to go to Al Jazeera English website. What's the There's actually a way, if you look, a, a way of setting up like some kind of mirror thing. Uh, I think it's a VPN or something. Technically, it's a bit beyond me, but so that it looks like to the internet you're coming from Europe or somewhere else. Right. Yeah. And then you can watch it. So. Uh, and that's only been true in the last two weeks. But is there, the a, is there a separate website? So for, well, four years, you've been able to watch Al or Fault Line since it existed. I mean, there's a piece about obesity in America that has 800,000 views. Most of them are in America. Most of our audience has been in America. So right now, just in these couple of weeks, kind of like your website's down and it's changing, mm -hmm. we're going through some legal issues with our website because of the launch. So the there's nobody in the U.S. would be able to find anywhere on the internet right now Fault Lines for um, programming? I don't think you'll be able to watch a full episode of Fault Lines right now. You can watch uh, some web extras. You can watch a number of those kind of videos. But full episodes at this moment are geo-blocked in the U.S. only. So what's the difference then um, between Al Jazeera and English what, I guess, let me ask it a different way. What's the different, what's the goal of Al Jazeera English versus Al Jazeera America? Al Jazeera English wants to be um, the most credible and watched news organization in the world uh, in competition with BBC World and CNN International. It's in uh, close to 400 million homes in 100 different countries. Right. Uh, it covers the world from a global perspective for a global audience. Al Jazeera America is only in America and it covers mostly domestic news for Americans. Uh, a lot of people who work there came from CNN, from ABC, from Fox, from uh, NBC. Right. Um, and so it would look similar to something like CNN. Uh, not MS MSNBC or Fox because it's nonpartisan, um, and, but closer to, to straight news. Less entertainment stuff than CNN, more kind of old-fashioned news. Al Jazeera originates out of Qatar, is that correct? Yeah. It's funded by the government of Qatar through the Al Jazeera Network Board, which is set up like the BBC and the CBC, so that there's network editorial independence between the channels and the government. It's essentially public broadcasting, uh, like PBS in the US. So, depending on who you talk to, um, Al, uh, Al Jazeera was allegedly the, um, I guess, the lapdog of Osama bin Laden, uh, putting out his videos, running his propaganda, uh, stuff like that. So what would Al Jazeera English do to separate themselves from the bad taste Al Jazeera based out of Qatar left in the American's well, mouth? There's kind of an interesting background to that. You're right, that narrative has had legs in the U.S., but it's not entirely true. And I think the most telling voice about that is Osama bin Laden. If you look at what he said about Al Jazeera, he's called them pro-Western, pro-Zionist, he's called for attacks against them. Zawahiri has called for attacks against them. Uh, Zakari in Iraq called for attacks against Al Jazeera. So 
there's like a conflicting message about what Americans believe about Al Jazeera and what um, the rest of the world believes about Al Jazeera. Now, Al Jazeera used to get the tapes from Bin Laden and show them. They weren't the only network to get the tapes. The very first Bin Laden tape to be distributed after 9-11 was distributed by the State Department in Colin Powell. U.S. Marines found a tape that condemning evidence on it about Bin Laden being responsible for 9-11. So they distributed that tape to the U.S. Hold on one second. Sure. That was my favorite. So, are the are, are the hires up at Al Jazeera aware of the taste that Al Jazeera, based out of guitar, left in Americans' mouth? And are are, are they uh, aware of the job that they have to do to gain credibility to be back back in the states here? Yeah, they, they're definitely aware of the American perception of Al Jazeera. Um, they've been aware of that for years and years and years. Um, anyone who's really watched Al Jazeera, at least Al Jazeera English, much where I work, they, they seem to have a really different opinion. And, and in fact. In my neighborhood, I, I live in Virginia, near okay. DC. Here, a number of people from the CIA live in my neighborhood. They started watching um, out of suspicion at first. What's your address? You hear that? Watching. There's people in the CIA that live in his neighborhood. And the NSA and the military and Al Jazeera and the State Department right. and uh, their teachers and their lawyers. Yes, it's a, uh, it's a neighborhood just outside the Beltway in DC. It's pretty common here. Well, we we they don't want your watching. address. They started watching um, out of suspicion, suspicion, and they kept watching. It's like what Secretary uh, Clinton, when she was Secretary of State, said in front of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. They asked her about Egypt, and she said they were all watching out there in English in the State Department because it was the best international news. It's like what. Yeah, we're rolling. It's like what John McCain said when he was a keynote speaker at the Al Jazeera Forum about a year ago, is that uh, he loves Al Jazeera, he watches it all the time. I think, I understand your concern, people tune in out of suspicion, but anyone who spends a significant amount of time watching Al Jazeera English comes away with a complete different view of what it is. It's like what BBC World is, if you've ever watched that internationally somewhere, except done better. So how can people watch Al Jazeera English now? Um, it, what, what they, aside from Fault Line, which can't be found right now in the States, where can people tune in to Al Jazeera English? Sure. So Al Jazeera English used to be broadcast on PBS stations around the country. It used to be broadcast in New York, um, LA, uh, DC, Toledo, places like that. But they've taken Al Jazeera English off the air and now they've launched Al Jazeera America here. And the best way to watch it is Al Jazeera America shows it for two or three hours a day uh, at different times. I'm not sure what, what times are on. But you can go to aljazeera.com. And it'll take you to Outsider America page, and there's a button on there that says, Would you rather go to Outsider English page? You can go to that. And then what you're seeing on there reflects what you'll see on there. So you can see the website, Outsider.com. Just make sure that you say you want to go to Outsider English, not Outsider America, if that's what you're looking for. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, uh, uh, what was your name on the phone? Josh Rushing. Josh what? Rushing. Rushing. Josh Rushing. Thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate it. Sure.